In home gardens all across America, people are making bold steps to make a difference with the food we grow, not only for ourselves, but for the planet and our neighbors we share it with. In a quiet little neighborhood just outside of Chicago, you might happen upon Shauna Coronado's front yard. You'll recognize it because it's the one with the bountiful vegetable garden. So Shauna, you're doing what a lot of people would love to do, but for whatever reason, haven't gotten around to it, and that's to have this wonderful vegetable garden right here in the front. What was the motivation for that? All about feeding the hungry. There was a woman who lived up the neighborhood from me, and she lost her home because she didn't have food to feed her family. And that was so sad, so mm -hmm. I really wanted to try something different to make an inspirational change, to get people out there doing and feeding their families the way everyone should be. So that's the motivation for the garden. What about putting it right in the front? <laughs> that's, that's an easy choice. This is the only place I had full sun, so I had to do it here. Well, that's not unlike many people who have the only sunny spot in their front yard, but mm -hmm. they're afraid of maybe what the neighbors think, right? Absolutely. You know what? I just did it. I planted it to look very ornamental, so it's beautiful to look at. I have to say, this really is a pretty vegetable garden, and I bet a lot of your neighbors don't even know this is like full-scale food production going on here. <laughs> You're saying it. It is all about keeping it attractive, and because it's so low to the ground, everyone thinks it's flowers instead of vegetables. Yeah, now as a gardener, I see some, maybe some cosmetic issues going on here, and I see the wildlife, although that's cabbage moth, which tells me you're definitely not using chemicals. I do not care about looks. I care about using no chemicals. All organic, keeping it healthy. Because all of this ends up getting donated to local food pantries, mm -hmm. remember? Yeah. And I want our community to be organic and healthy. Yeah, and so plus what you're not feeding your own family, and of course you want that for them. Mm -hmm. Good plan there. Now you've got this basil growing here, ornamental, very pretty, but you're letting it go to flower, which is then to see, which kind of makes that basil bitter. A lot of people would pluck that flower head off. Have to save it, must save it, because the flower head is one of the most important flavorful parts. I take it all, crush it up, put it in olive oil, freeze it, and then all season long, I have this really wonderful flavor additive for my foods. A great way to extend the season well past the time that the basil is long gone. What about the lettuce? Because here we are in the middle of the summer, most of the time people have pulled that out, it's either bolted or it's gotten too bitter. What do you do? It does get bitter, and what I do is I, I pick it, and then I mix it with vinegar and sugars and use it as a cut, you know, with meats. Yeah. So it's a wonderful combination keeps healthy all year long, and you don't have to spend more money to invest in the garden than planting. I've heard a lot of gardeners say they would love to have tomato plants in their front yard, but because they tend to get kind of ratty looking early on, that's the deal killer for them. But look at yours. This is so ornamental to me. I mean, you have a lot of tomatoes on these plants. There is a secret. It's called well-composted manure. And I love manure. I put it on every part of my vegetable garden, and better yet, all organic. Yeah, fantastic. And on top of that, you've got the mulch to help keep the moisture in. And speaking of moisture, I don't see any irrigation heads over here. How are you watering your garden? I have a drip irrigation system laid, but it all starts with my rainwater cistern. I have 500 gallons worth of rainwater I can use every time it rains, and I water the garden with that. All natural, no chemicals. I have a pump. It's plugged into the drip irrigation. It works really well, so I love it. Well, it's probably a good thing I'm not your neighbor, because if I was, I'd be out here every morning with my coffee overlooking this fantastic garden. Shana. It's my modern day victory garden. I absolutely love it. I'm helping my family, and better yet, I'm helping the community because I'm giving organically to others. Yeah, absolutely. Hey, and by the way, what do those neighbors say now with this garden? <laughs> they tell me never to leave. <laughs>